My innermost thoughts are that I'm being led by spirit, no more like summoned by spirit to come out of retirement. I can't sit by any longer and watch the spiritual awakening of humankind that I helped pioneer since 1970 up until I retired in 2005 be confused and distorted the way it is at times. In today's world, it's even more critical for us to know who we really are as spiritual beings. I see some teachings today are needlessly confusing it and complicating it as though it's rocket science or brain surgery, when actually it is very simple and natural. It really is just child's play, and that's why we were more in tune with our spiritual selves when we were children. Or it's being presented as what I call airy-fairy and unnatural or some seem to set themselves up on a pedestal as someone who has some special gift that others don't have, and that's simply not true. After all, we are all eternal spiritual beings just having a temporary physical experience, so there's nothing more natural and simple than to learn how to allow ourselves to be who we really are. Also, I don't see that many are teaching spiritual awareness and enlightenment the way I used to. As a child, I learned that the universe doesn't lecture to us. It sets up learning experiences, and we learn from those things we experience. Wisdom comes only from what we experience. That is why I always taught experientially. Everyone learned by doing, not just listening to theoretical spiritual concepts. Learning from the inside out, not from the outside in. I used 128 different experiential techniques that actually allowed each person to experience every aspect and every concept of spiritual truth and wisdom. To, in every course, have many life-altering profound spiritual experiences, the kind that most wish they could have even one of in their entire lifetime. Yes, I think the decision is clear. I need to come back from retirement and resume teaching spiritual seekers how to awaken their true spiritual nature and dormant spiritual abilities, and then how to apply that wisdom to improve every aspect of their lives. So I'm back, back to teaching.